Hey guys, this is Jeff from Smoking T-Jets. You, know, you know how we all like to have the um, T-Jets or the slot cars like pull a trailer or to, to like pull something, you know, whether it's the um, a, a little rig that'll hold a motorcycle or it's the, um, like the vibrators had the box vans and things like that. Uh, we all like to have the T-Jets pull something. And what I'm uh, going to do in this next video, I'm going to show you a real quick, easy way to make a uh, hitch that you can adjust to go into most of the T-Jets. And it's a real, real easy way, and you can you, you can do it with uh, the materials, I bet, that you already have. You don't have to go out and buy anything special. And quite frankly, you can use the materials, and I'll tell you about it when I get to it, that... Um, there aren't any guns. Some of them are better than the others, but there's a, a real quick way to make a little trailer hit so your T-Jets can start uh, pulling some things around the track. Alright guys, I'll stop the video and uh, show you what I'm talking about. Okay guys, we're back for the um, next part of the video. This is the um, little trailer hitch that I wanted to show you how I made. Uh, I, I think that the, the, the first selection is you got to figure out what kind of car you want to be pulling the trailer hitch. Uh, you can do something appropriate or something totally inappropriate. It doesn't matter. Uh, it's like whatever you want. I was thinking about, uh, I like the fairling for this one. Yeah, I think it's a good match. Uh, let me take the little uh, hitch off here. There's other possibilities, though. I did think about the uh, T-Bird, and really, that's not a bad um, That's not a bad go at it right there. I kind of like the way the T-Bird looked. Some people say, well, the T-Bird's a little muscle card. Well, it can be, but it, it doesn't look too bad pulling a trailer. Um, somebody says, well, you know, why don't you just go over the top with it and have something really fast pull on it. Well, I, I, I did think of that, and you can do that. I mean, you can do whatever you want. Um, there's a Riviera that um, I kind of did up to be like a police car. We've got the green light on top, the uh, engine uh, on the front there. Um, you know, it, it, it just actually absolutely screams around the track. But again, to me, not really appropriate. I want something that's going to look good with the trailer. Um, as far as the Rivieras go, I love them. I think they look great. Uh, I even thought about this one, the little white one. I think that's a good match. I really do. I think that's a good match. I'm considering doing that one. Um, I really like that the uh, way that the, uh, the, the, the Fairlane is, but I, I like the way that the Riviera, as far as the way it looks like when it's pulling something, is real good. But then I, I was looking at the, some of the cars that I got, and I, I saw this uh, convertible, and then I, it just hit me. It's like, no. No, no, that's it right there. That's it right there. Um, what's interesting is with these little hitches, you, you got to pick one. What do you want to pull? Well, obviously we got this little trailer, and two is is you, you got to pick what kind of car do you want to uh, uh, pull? You know, use to pull the trailer, because um, you can't make a hitch that's going to be universal for all the cars. And I'll show you what I'm getting into. I'll use the Fairling as a demonstration. But um, this uh, convertible, this Galaxy, I'll show you um, in the next part of the video what I mean as far as the, uh, uh, it'll be a custom hitch for that car, okay? I'll stop the video and I'll see you in the next segment. Okay, we're back again. The uh, next part I want to point out is the um, fairling here has the uh, hitch on the back, but do you, do you see how much longer the um, Galaxy is here? It's got a much longer... Uh, tail end to it. I, I'm going to rotate the cars on their sides here so we can uh, uh, look at that a little bit easier, a little bit better. Let's see if we can get that lined up. Um, yeah, here's what I'm talking about. The um, tail between the chassis and the car and the tail here between the uh, chassis and the car, there's considerable bit more um, uh, distance here. So our hitch that we're going to make it's going to be a little bit longer than the hitch that we made here. So that's why it's custom for the pieces that you're making. Yes, each um, hitch you might be able to put on uh, other cars that have the similar distance here, but what I'm saying is, is it'll be customized for this car and you know it's going to come out good. So uh, once again, let me stop the video. We'll get to the next part. Just a sec. Okay, we're back again. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the uh, hitch off the back here I'm going to show you what it looks like, and uh, we're going to start making it. Let me go ahead and take the uh, front screw off here. Loosen the back one up as well. Now, for this project, 
we have to take the uh, back screw out completely so I can so I can show you how I made the hitch. And again, I, I, I made a reference at the beginning of the video that you can make this hitch with parts that you, you probably already have, and uh, some of the parts might be, um, I don't want to say damaged, or but uh, they, you know, they might not be the best of uh, parts. And um, here's, what, here, here's what we're looking at. Here's what we're looking at. Put this aside here. We have a, a guide pin that's um, glued to a shoe, and it's an AFX shoe. And then the um, part of the sh uh, shoe here that usually goes up around the f uh, front part of the chassis, that goes on to the um, back screw post there. Yep, right there. That's where it goes on. So when you tighten the chassis down to that uh, shoe, it keeps the um, little trailer hitch really, 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 really tight. So it's a real good way to do it. And it's an easy thing to make. Now, uh, and, as, and as far as um, the pieces that you might have, this guide pin we're going to use here in just a second, this guide pin, it's not, it, it's, a, it's a knockoff, it's, it's not a, a T-Jet, it's not an original, it's actually gray. Um, I like the rigidity of the plastic, and I don't know who made it off the top of my head, but what I don't like about it, and this is why I don't mind using it for a project like this, and you, you guys might have some, what what why I, why I don't mind using it is every time I try to fit one of these gray ones in, you know I, I I try to get them in and it seems like they're so fat they're so wide that you almost have to sand either either side to get them to fit in properly. The old Aurora ones, you know, well they just fit right in. These gray ones, it's like man, whoever reproduced them, and again I don't know off the top of my head who made them. They're just a little wide, so if you got them, use those, use those, use those. The reason I use it is because, well, one, they have a hole uh, built into it, uh, which is nice, but they have this little um, uh, peg right here that we can use as the actual hitch. Now, if you'll notice in the uh, piece over here, I have the uh, shoe, which has a square. Then I, what I did is I, I, I glued the um, guide pin to it, and the only thing I modified on the guide pin, and we'll, we'll, we'll turn it over there, is I got rid of the uh, little nub there. What I'm going to do now is I got my grinder out and I'm going to go ahead and grind that down and uh, it should only take a second I mean it's very 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 small it should only take a second to grind this thing down here As I'm looking at it, I, I, I ground it down. That we got rid of the nub, but I also scuffed a little bit because when you glue this to this metal piece uh, and you scuff a little bit, it allows the glue to hold a little bit better. So uh, that's why I did that. That's why I did that. Now here's what we got to do. The next step is is with the car that we're going to use, we have to get um, this little hole in place, and then we have to have it sticking out here, and we have to measure, and then finally cut where we need to glue the guide pin. So once again, I'm going to um, um, shut the camera off. We'll do that in the next segment. Okay, we're back again. I just loosened up the screws. The um, Get rid of the chassis here. The, the, the back part where the uh, hitch is going to go, that's what we're going to address first. Let me go ahead and get rid of the back screw completely here. Okay, the first thing we need to do is we've got to put the shoe that we have, we're going to go ahead and put the uh, back screw and the shoe together and then we're going to screw it onto the body so we can actually measure the length that we're going to need here we go to make the hitch because you know e each car they're not going to be identical they really won't be identical so if we just go ahead and replace that back screw with that hitch on there uh, we don't have to screw it in all the way just so we know it's good and, um, um, to where you know you can pull on it. It's, it's, it's snug. So um, let's go ahead and look at it and see what it's going to take to put the hitch on there where we need to um, go ahead and put that guide pin on there. You, you know, you don't want it up up against it or underneath. You, you want to give it some leeway. So I'm figuring somewhere around there. 
So what we'll do is we'll get our guide pin. And we'll put that little thing right up right up under the bumper there. And that looks pretty good just setting it like that. Now just looking at it, just looking at it. I'm not really putting it on there too much. That looks like it's a good place. That looks like it's a good match right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and score. Make sure everything's just right. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and score the back there of the uh, shoe and just go ahead and clip that off. Okay, good. I got a little mark on there. Now what we'll do is we'll cut that with some scissors. And that should be the perfect length that we need to cut that. I can see where my mark is. I'm going to line the scissors up. And I'm going to go ahead and make the cut. Good. Now, go ahead and get that back in the camera. What that did is that that just gave us a little bit of that shoe that's sticking out of there, but that's enough length for the guide pin to be glued on there. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to detach the um, the little shoe from the back and I'm going to glue the guide pin onto it is what I'm going to do next. Go ahead and get that out of there. There we go. And while I got it here, I'm just going to trim up the um, corners just a little bit just to make sure that it's a uh, if we touch it in the future, it's not going to be uh, any of the corners be sharp whatsoever. So I'm just trimming it up a little bit. Now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and put some glue on there. And be liberal with it. Be liberal with it. That's fine. Um, make sure it's actually touching there, just not sitting on top. There we go. And then just go ahead and set the guide pin on top. That's all you got to do. Just set the guide pin right on top. And um, now here's the hard part, guys. Got to let it dry. Just got to let it sit there and dry. I know it's going to take a bit, but you just got to let it sit there and dry. That's all you can do now. That's that's the next step. So um, in video time, in just a second, when I restart the video, we'll go ahead and retach it, and we'll see how it pulls the little uh, trailer there. And uh, we'll do that in just a few minutes. But uh, for right now, we got to let it dry. See you in the next segment, guys. No, damn it. Don't touch it. It's not done yet. <laughs> All right, guys. We're back now. It looks like the little uh, trailer hitch is uh, dried. What we're going to do now is I'm going to take the, uh, the hitch. I'm going to um, put the uh, back screw in it. We're going to put it on the... Uh, body and we'll hook the chassis up to it. We're going to see how it runs. I just got the um, trailer hitch on and uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to slide the uh, chassis in and it's going to go right underneath the uh, trailer hitch there and the chassis slips right in. We'll go ahead and tighten the back screw back in place there we go now one thing I notice already there's a little bit of um, play here uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend the shoe just a little bit so it sets up under here a little bit better is what I'm going to do so once again let me stop the video be right back with that we'll make some uh, fine adjustments and put it on the track all right we got the trailer hitch on the uh, uh, car there, we got the little trailer hooked up. We're going to see how it runs. I'm going to pan back a little bit, stand up, see if we can get the go. Now, one thing um, I do like is that I like if you have a T jet, if it's pulling something, to pull it a little slow. I don't need the fastest car in the world. I just I need it to look good. So, that's one of the things that I do. And I think it worked out pretty good. I think it worked out pretty good. 
I like the way it looks, I like the way it handles, it stays on the car real well. Um, it's a fun little project, I hope you all enjoyed it. Again, this is Jeff from uh, Smoke and T-Jets. See you in the next video.